This is one of the first things out of Dabo Sweeney's mouth. <laughs> you know, the guy that called us a fraud, ask Alabama if we're a fraud. Was his name Colin Coward? <laughs> ask him, I don't, never met him, don't know him. Ask him if, <laughs> if we're Alabama if we're a fraud. Ask Ohio State if we're a fraud. Ask Oklahoma if we're a fraud. The only fraud is that guy. Because oh. oh. he, he didn't do his homework. I hope y'all print that. <laughs> Well, first of all, again, tip of the cap to Dabo and his staff. They played their best two games late. And, um, you know, people this morning are like, what do you think of that? One of the things I've realized, you do not punish me if I'm wrong. You punish me as an audience if I choose topics you're not interested in. You have never punished me for being wrong. My Blazing Five is one of the highest rated things I ever do. And I get 57% right. When you punish me, politicians could learn a thing or two. Politicians lose when they talk about topics that nobody cares about. Trump talked about the economy. That's what most of us care about, not bathroom issues. In the end, you have never punished me for being wrong. You punish me when I'm uninteresting and when I choose topics that you don't give a rip about. So I will continue to have super strong opinions on college football, the NBA, the NFL, and all I can say to Dabo Sweeney, you're a hell of a coach. You made college football better. You gave me four and a half hours. Game was a tad long, but four and a half hours of great entertainment. And your players showed such great character in the most crucial moments. I couldn't be happier for Clemson. I didn't buy them. I watched them almost lose seven times. I was watching when North Carolina State could have beat them at Clemson. I didn't see the Troy game. I don't think that was on my local carrier. I'm not sure if Dabo saw much of it. I don't know if it was broadcast in Clemson. But what they did last night was remarkable, great for the sport. They had great dignity. And I can take a punch. I, can I defend you for a second, too? Because he yeah. said you obviously didn't do your homework. I don't think I know anyone who does more homework than you. Yeah. You literally sit at home by yourself and watch college football <laughs> all the time and no. come in three hours early to prep no, for the no, show. No. So you listen, do your homework. Listen, I it really today, I am very happy for Dabo and his team. Mm -hmm. And you know what I learned this year? It was, a, it was a learning opportunity for me, is that I noticed it with USC. Remember I said, why isn't USC in this? USC finished this morning ranked third. I said they should have been in the Final Four, and you guys all yelled at me. What we're seeing as college football is that these great schools like Clemson, Alabama, Oklahoma, Ohio State, Michigan, USC, these great schools, LSU, recruiting is so competitive. you got to play a lot of these freshmen as true freshmen, and if you don't, they'll go elsewhere. College football teams are younger than they've ever been. You used to have to redshirt. I mean, even if you were a great high school player, you didn't play until you were a redshirt sophomore. These teams are sprinkled with true freshmen. Alabama's quarterback to true freshmen and true sophomores. What's it mean? Teams change drastically. Clemson doesn't even look like the same team last night that when I watched them against Auburn and North Carolina State. So it was a learning lesson for me. But I am actually this morning overjoyed and happy. And I went to bed after the game last night. I did not see that live. <laughs> And I came in this morning and my staff was laughing and they're like, did you hear Dabo? And I'm like, I didn't hear Dabo. Uh, good for him. I can take a punch. I'll never back down on strong opinions. And uh, you think he's watching? No, I don't. But you know what? He's having a great time. And the entire organization and operation of that university should be darn proud. That was a great night.